So now let us look at what is a push down automata. The topic which you are going to study here is push down automata. Push down automata. Okay. See, when you studied finite automata, then in case of finite automata, the structure was like this. We were having a tape. We were having a tape like this. We were having a finite control and read write head and a finite memory. This memory is finite. Finite memory. Okay. And this finite automata can communicate with this finite memory. See, when we say finite memory, that means we can only store a limited number of information or you can say limited size of information in the finite memory that is why sometimes for the languages where we have to store a rest, uh, like strings like a rest power and b rest power n so those kind of strings will not be able to store in finite automata if the length of the string is infinite okay so in the case of finite automata you can clearly see we have a finite memory but when we discuss about the push down automata in case of push down automata the structure is like this we are we were having a tape there's a tape like this there's a finite control there's a finite control and here we are going to use a stack we are going to use a stack and in the bottom of the stack we are going to have a stack alphabet which is assume z0 okay and we load our strings onto the tape for example here also we load for a a b b here also we can load the strings on the finite control and so on right so what we can do is by reading a string or you can say by reading an alphabet either we can store that alphabet in the stack or we we may not choose to store that alphabet onto the stack and that decision we can take by looking at the alphabet and the top of the stack that is what is the element which is present in the top of the stack now this kind of machine is called as a push down automata so therefore if you can if you see what is the formal definition of push down automata then push down automata can be written like this a push down automata can be represented by q summation q not uh, q not and we have delta and uh, z not which is the stack alphabet so whatever the alphabet which is present on the top of the stack we have set of final state and we have tau okay so this is representing a push down automata now in this case of push down automata again the same thing q is representing set of states which is a non empty set because if the set of states uh, is empty then obviously it is nothing right so the set of states will be non empty set will be having submission which is a set of input alphabet which is again non empty will be having q not which is representing the initial state the initial state will be having z not which is representing the stack or you can say uh, bottom of the stack this will be representing bottom of stack will be having f which is set of final states set of final states will be having tau which is the stack alphabet stack alphabet means the alphabets which you can write onto the stack for example here we can have z not we can have a we can have b so what are the alphabets bits you can write onto the stack that is called a stack alphabet and there's something called as transition function we'll be having something called as delta which is transition function transition function now this transition function varies from automata to automata for example we can have a finite automata for finite automata i have shown you what is the transition function for uh, nfa that is not deterministic finite automata and dfa deterministic finite automata there is a change in the transition function right so here in this case of stacks again there is a change in the transition function <laughs> and uh, that transition function is dependent on what is the value at top of the stack and what is the current symbol which we are seeing and by looking at that current symbol we can go to any certain state 
and we can write something onto the stack right so the transition function delta can be given by if you are at any particular state q and by looking at the input symbol but the, the symbol which is on top of on this uh, tape and by looking at what is the stack alphabet right so you can say uh, epsilon we can say epsilon or the stack alphabet which is tau we can go to any state from q and we can write anything onto the stack right and here it is clean closure of tau star right so that means if there are three symbols in tau for example here in this case let, let, let us assume that we are going to write three symbols onto the stack that is z0 a and b therefore tau here in this case can be written as uh, it is z0 small a and small b right so, so uh, th that means we can take a clean closure of this right so we can we can go to one uh, we can write one symbol onto the stack or we can write more than one symbol onto the stack okay and then if we discuss about uh, this delta function in case of non deterministic pda that is non deterministic push down automata see there are two types of push down automata either we can discuss about deterministic push down automata or we can discuss about non deterministic push down automata so both combined are called as push down automata and here in case of deterministic and non deterministic push down automata non deterministic push down automata is more powerful than deterministic push down automata because we cannot for for example because if we can give uh, a non deterministic push down automata for some languages then we may not be able to give a deterministic push down automata for those languages okay so here i am saying that the delta function is very varies varies from deterministic push down automata to non deterministic push down automata and this it is varying according to the number of states which we can go so in case of non deterministic push down automata delta function can be written as q cross summation union epsilon cross tau can take us to 2 raised to power q cross delta star or say we can say tau star states 2 raised to power uh, q cross tau star states so this is in case of non deterministic push down automata okay so let me show the, uh, this uh, push down automata with an example and then i'll again come back to the same uh, definition and i'll show you how this definition works in case of uh, push down automatas okay